How to make an alert dialog box. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Android Pre-K Tutorials. In this tutorial, I'm going to walk you through the process of setting up an easy alert dialog box, something basic. Just going to be a button, you press it, and alert dialog box is going to show up. But you're going to see the whole process and see that it's actually kind of easy to do it. First, what we need to do is open up Eclipse. Eclipse open up. You have your um, project started. If not, start one already, and then um, open it up. And then you open up your main XML file inside your layout folder. Open up your main XML file. I already did, and um, I opened mine up and I deleted the hello world, blah, blah, blah. Delete that text view because what we want to do is we want to set up a button to show an alert dialog box. So what we need is a button. Go over to your palette, form widgets, grab a button, drag it into the um, content view, into your layout. And then what we need to do is you can just double click on it and that will take us over to the um, XML view, the code view of the layout. First, what we need to do is clean up these attributes. Put your cursor in front of, put your um, cursor in front of the attribute, enter, tab over, and do that for all of the other attributes. Once you do the first one, the other ones will just fall right in line. So when you just enter, enter, then come over to the end in brackets. All right, cool. First, what I want to do for this button is I want to set up the um, width. So I want to set that right. So what we're going to do is just going to do the fill parent. All right, that way you can see over in the graphical layout, the button just fills the whole entire um, view it fills the parents view so that's all we needed to do for what we're gonna do is we're gonna change the text of the button from button to alert and we're gonna leave the um, ID alone we don't need to reference it what we're gonna do is come over to the end of the last attribute we're gonna enter down we're gonna add one more attribute for the on click listener so we just type in Android colon and the hints start popping up so all we need to do is just type on on and the on click attribute um, the hint pops up double click on it and then what we need to press is enter and you can see we're going to set this to a name so we're just going to put the double quotations arrow back into it and we're going to set out let me get out of here we just select on it and it'll bring you back and it'll close the hints but what we need to do because we need to just type in a name for our on-click listener. And this is going to be the alert button. Okay, cool. Now we have everything that we need set up for the button right now inside the XML. I see not much change except for the um, text on the button. And that's all we need. Because we have a button that says alert. And we also have the on-click listener set to alert button. And if you watched the previous tutorial on how to make um, buttons the easy way, this will all make perfect sense to you. If not, I'd advise you to um, watch that tutorial and then come back. But we already have our on click listener set to alert button. So now everything else we're going to do is going to be inside Java. Open up your um, source file, open up your activity, I mean, open up your package file, and inside your package file is your um, activity. I call it Java. Um, and we need to do everything inside of here. First, what we need to do is inside the activity itself, we need to implement the view on click listener. So what we need to do is just type in implements, just like we did in the buttons tutorial, and it's because we're going to implement it into the activity itself. So next, what we need to do is come over and type in view dot on click listener. All right. All right. Then we're gonna go after the on create. This is the on create. After that, close bracket, tab over, type in public void, on click, parentheses view, v close parentheses, open curly bracket, close curly brackets. We don't need to put anything inside here. But as you can see, we have an error, and you can hover over the text to find out what the error is, find out some quick fixes, or you could come over to the um, left-hand side and check out the um, box, 
and you can see our error these are some of the quick fixes right here it pulls it up same thing when you see this right here that says import normally you just have to import um, different declarations in you can press control shift O you don't have to come all the way over here to do it but we're just gonna click on it just so you can see and as you can see we just imported this declaration right here to view on click listener now is ready we don't have no error on the activity line itself and down here for the method we don't have no more errors because everything is imported that we need now what we need to do is just set up our button so we're going to type in public void once again and our on click for the button is set to alert button alright and it could be set to whatever you want it to be but for this tutorial I just named it that but all you have to do is just make sure that this name right here is the same as your XML files on click because the on click equals whatever you set it to right now we just need to um, type in view v close parentheses open curly bracket enter down you can see it generates our closing curly brackets alright cool now enter down twice bring it back to the middle and now we need to set up everything for our alert because our button is already set up because everything we need for the button is implemented in the activity so all we need to do is just start typing our um, alert code so what we need to do is we need to start up a new alert dialog box so we just type in new alert gotta make sure you spell it right alert dialog dot and builder pops up that's the hint that comes up yes we want alert dialog dot build builder and then what we're gonna do is just type in this and we could just gonna curse it out enter down and now we need to set up the properties for the um, alert dialog box first thing what we need to do is we need to set up a title for the alert dialog box so we're just gonna type in period set title oh wow and you can see we don't get any of the hints because we have an error on the alert dialog box as you can see you won't get the hints your activity won't know how to implement your alert dialog box because that declaration is not imported so what we need to do is we need to import the alert dialog box now that we have that imported you can see we don't have an error right here no more alright cool since this is not finished that's why we have an error what we're going to do is we're going to select back out of it we're going to select everything press period again and we're going to set the title now you can see we have all of our hints now okay cool what we need to do is set it to set title and we're going to set this to some text so all we're going to do is open quote close quotes arrow back into it and we're going to set up some text and what the text is going to be for the title is danger okay cool our alert is set to danger that's going to be the name of the title okay cool we're going to um well we could just um select down just go down to the next line you could either select out of it and just enter down and then what we need to do is just period because now what we need to do is set the message so we're going to type set m and you can see the hints pop up we want the first one that comes up set the message and the message what we're going to do is just open quote close quotes arrow back in and we need to set some text inside of here so what we're going to do is danger will Robinson I hope if I spelled this right right danger will Robinson Danger. All right, cool. And that's going, and this is going to be the text that's inside of that gets displayed inside of the alert dialog box. Now we need to arrow down. We could just press show right now, but what we need to do is we need to set up a button for our alert dialog box. It's not going to do anything. It's just something so we can close the alert dialog box. Okay, what we need to do now is just press period again. We need to press period set. 
neutral button. You can set a positive button, a negative button, or a neutral button. For right now, in this tutorial, the easy one, we're just going to set up a neutral button. And you can see we have a neutral button set up, and we need to set the text for it. What do we want the text to be? This is going to be the text that's going to show up on that button. I'm just going to put open quote, close quotes, arrow back in, put the, put the um text, and this one is going to say OK. That's what we're going to display on the button. Okay, now we need to come over to the listener, and the listener is what we would set if we wanted this button to do anything. We don't want it to do anything, we just want it to close out the window, the alert dialog box when it pops up. So we're just going to set this to no. Alright, cool. Now we have everything set up. We have the view on click listener implemented in the activity. We got this method going on inside the activity for the um, on click. We have our button set up with the on click inside the XML and it sets the alert button and when we press the button it starts up a new alert dialog box titled danger it shows a message danger will robinson danger and then at the end we have a, we have a, um, a neutral button that pops up it says okay it doesn't do anything it just closes it out now what we need to do is the final bit of code for our alert dialog box if I can get my cursor back okay cool all we have to do is just press period show because we wanted to show what we got so just come over here semicolon save it and then we send it to our debug press F11 and I ask you if you want to save it if you didn't save the XML file yet so we just save that and we can just tab over to our debug device and we should see the application pop up eventually all right, now that our application started, you can see our layout for the main layout is um, set on the on create, set the content view to the main layout. This is the main layout XML file, and inside that XML file, we have an alert, we have a button that displays the text alert, and we have it that when we press the button, the on click, when we click on the button, the on click, it should show up. It should show. Uh, alert dialog box and you can see our alert dialog box pops up and this is the title is set to danger that we just set in the set title and the message is danger will Robinson danger and we also set up a neutral button and the neutral button doesn't do anything it just sets up right in the middle and it says okay that way when we click it it goes right back no errors inside the code application is running good debug and whenever you press this button, your alert dialog box shows up. You can set the text to whatever you want. You can set the title to whatever you want. You can set the text to whatever you want inside the set title and inside the set message. And you could also change the text on the button to whatever you want. Once we get in deeper into buttons, we'll show you how to add some code to the button if you actually want to start up some other code. But that's it. Congratulations, you've just learned how to set up an alert dialog box from a button. Um, if you like this tutorial and you actually learned something, share it on your Facebook page, um, tweet it, put it on your Twitter. I mean, help spread the word. Leave as much feedback as possible. And um, like it if you, if you like it. Um, like the video on the YouTube. If you didn't like it, leave a comment in there. Yo, dude, you suck and I hate your tutorials. But I hope you learned something and uh, go ahead and make some alert dialogue boxes.